Well, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at the Temple Bowl Fountain. Now, this is the largest bowl. There are three bowls in this series, and this will be in the large one. Uh, I think it's a great looking fountain. I really like this fountain. All three bowls look good on this base, so I think it doesn't really matter a whole lot which one you pick. It's just aesthetically which one you're going to like the most. The sound, you're going to get the same out of all three of them, so it's just a question of if you want the small bowl, the medium bowl, or the large bowl. Now keep in mind, lighting uh, is, a, is, a, is a must. We do lighting inside of this bowl. Uh, with those low bowl fountains, as I've mentioned other times, it's low enough to where the light in there will, will kind of have a nice reflective soft uh, light up the area around it, nice and soft light. Uh, it also picks up that motion from your reflective motion off of your light uh, with the water movement there. Uh, up lighting, you would do on the outside. I think this, you know, all fountains benefit from the up lighting as well as the light in the bowl. It's just a really wonderful effect. And you can go over on the info page of the website and there's a video over there showing you what that does. Uh, this bowl right here is a little bit wider than the base. Not a whole lot. The other two, of course, were smaller. Uh, you get that flow out of the bowl and then it flows down onto the base. And then that flows. You'll need to get it level. You can see here we got it off level. So uh, you'll need to kind of shim that, get it around. But we're just here shooting up video, shooting videos and then we'll take it back down and put something else on here. So we're not taking the time to get it perfectly level, which is what you need to do on your end. Uh, and the water flowing off of here is almost like a tube fountain. You've got sound coming up here and then you're getting sound down here. And keep in mind, we've got this bottom bowl elevated a little bit. We actually have a couple of cinder blocks in underneath of it there. Uh, the reason we're doing that, we want to be able to see that drip edge as the water flows off of that. And you don't have to do that. You can set this base directly down on your basin. And you, that way you don't have that drip edge. But we want to be able to see that drip edge. I think you could do a light underneath here too and kind of shine from the bowl underneath and it'll catch up that, catch that drip edge even more. You'll see that water flowing over there at night. So those are options you can do on your end. We basically just have a couple of cinder blocks in here. We've got them squeezed in enough so you don't see it on the side. Uh, you want to make sure you do that. You don't want to see your cinder blocks. You can paint the cinder blocks black as well. It makes them more neutral and less noticeable. But bringing them in closer to the side will make it so that you don't see them. Right now, grab the camera and take a close-up look. Let me get an idea of the sound as well. That's quite, quite a bit of sound. And keep in mind, we can make your plume of uh, water higher and if you want more sound or um, if you just want that plume to shoot up higher, we can do that. Just need to know that ahead of time, we can upgrade your pump. Doesn't add a whole lot of cost to it if you want to do that. Uh, just make sure that you don't get too much splash where you're splashing outside of your basin. You can get an idea of the contrast and the color there. I think it's a really nice contrast. you got a black base, kind of a gray tone bowl, which I think really works well together. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny at southerngraceva.com.